Let's talk a little bit about the composition panel, also known as the comp panel or the monitor, however you want to call it is fine. You can zoom in and out of it. We have talked about that before with a mouse scroll wheel or with the period or the comma keys. You can also zoom in and out by using this drop down menu in here. Next is the grid and guides options. Title and action safe for those of you who do animations for broadcast. Proportional grid, grid, guides and rulers, which help you position things in the composition panel. Next, we have the toggle mask and shape path visibility. Next is the current time. If you click here, you can just type in the time code number that you would like to navigate to. Let's click on cancel. Next comes the resolution. Auto, full, half, third and a quarter. Full will render all of the pixels. Half would render every other pixel which really means it's rendering a fourth of all the pixels because it's half across and half down. Third will render every third one, etc., etc. You may want to change the resolution of your comp panel in case you have a lot of things going on and you need to do a fast RAM preview. Next to that, we have the region of interest, which you can use to set just a small part of the image to render. Click on it again to deselect. Next to that, we have the toggle transparency grid. You see, this color here is not really black. It's transparent. And if you click here, you will see the checkered board pattern that is so familiar to those of you who work in Photoshop. It's a little bit too distracting in After Effects, so I personally rather work with it off. Next to that, we have different camera views that work if you're working on 3D, and these layers happen to be 3D, so I'll switch to Custom View 1. Notice that we are seeing now the same layers from a different point of view. I'll go back to Active Camera. Also, when working on 3D, it's a good idea to have more than one view. If you choose, for example, two views horizontal, you can have this one from the top, this one from the active camera, and it helps position things in 3D space. Let me go back to one view. I'm going to make this panel slightly larger so we can see the rest of the icons in here. Toggle pixel aspect ratio correction. Right now, this is not going to do anything because these particular clips happen to be square pixels. But if you were working with non-square pixels, Really, there needs to be some kind of pixel aspect ratio correction so that the monitor that you're viewing this on will display the image correctly. This toggles this correction on and off. Next to that, we have fast previews. If you click here, you can turn your OpenGL on and off, and you can have different settings for it. OpenGL refers to acceleration that is controlled by your video card. Depending on what kind of video card you have, you may want to have this on or off. Next to that, this is the timeline icon. This will bring forward the timeline that belongs to this particular composition. Right now, this sounds like a very bizarre thing to have in there, but the truth is that sometimes we're working with a lot of different composition panels and a lot of different timelines, all of them open at the same time. When that time comes, you will really appreciate having this particular button in here. Next to that is a flowchart view. If you click in here, you're going to see we have a composition which has these layers. The layers have these particular files in them. You can reposition these. This really helps you for when you're working with nested compositions. So more on nested compositions a little bit later. But just know that the flowchart view is actually available here in After Effects. Let me go back to the composition view. This particular icon here is for the exposure. You can lower the exposure or raise it in case you want to see your layers a little bit brighter or a little bit darker. Just know that this does not affect the rendered video. This is just your view here in this panel. And this was a quick look at the interface of After Effects CS4.